Welcome. These videos highlight the success stories of Alberta-based Aboriginal entrepreneurs and the organizations that supported them. Aboriginal entrepreneurs have found success in many industries in Alberta – energy, transportation, communications, manufacturing and retail. These are just some of the many stories of success. I'm Trevor Minx and uh, I have a trucking company and I'm the owner-operator of the trucking company. EcoWest Transport, we're located in Enoch, Alberta. We operate three walking floor units. Uh, one is a Super B walking floor unit and two 53-foot walking floor units. And they're used to uh, uh, haul products like wood shavings, uh, wood chips, uh, scrap tires, and uh, shred materials of tires. In February 2013 will be five years that we've been in business for you. The whole concept of the business came for out of a need uh, for uh, a particular company uh, that required us to, um, to haul materials for them. Uh, and it made sense, uh, knowing my background, what I did in trucking, uh, to perhaps go forward with owning my own company and doing this, this type of work for them. So the, it, was, it was two worlds that came together to meet uh, a good cause, I guess you could say. The challenges we had probably had more to do with the equipment. Purchasing the power unit of the tractor um, was, was somewhat easy to do. Uh, the bigger issue was the trailer. We're at this point now where we're doing fairly well. We, uh, I came to know of Indian Investment Corporation actually over um, a longer period of time. Being from Enoch, you've already seen them, uh, Indian Investment Corporation here. So when the time came, it was, uh, it was almost natural to go and uh, see them about doing this type of thing, yes. Uh, my name is Rocky Sinclair and I'm the uh, Chief Executive Officer uh, with the Alberta Indian Investment Corporation. And uh, my role is to corporately oversee uh, the operations of the corporation, uh, which includes oversight uh, on our uh, business development activities as well as uh, financing in the First Nations community. The Alberta Indian Investment Corporation is located on the Enoch Cree Nation, on uh, the, uh, or bordering on the west end of Edmonton. Well, our focus is, uh, of course, to um, help Alberta First Nations uh, in the pursuit of um, economic development uh, within not only their communities, but for them, themselves personally through uh, the provision of uh, commercial loans and uh, also with uh, business development support services. That really is our core business and uh, what, we, uh, what we have focused on for uh, over 20 years. In that time, we've loaned out in excess of $53 million. We also have loaned out in excess of 800 loans within the community. Whether an individual receives a loan doesn't mean that they didn't get some sort of help in some way, whether it was uh, guidance or, or some advice in, in some capacities. Depending on what the question is and what they're looking for in terms of help, I mean, it can be anything from uh, just an inquiry on, on uh, whether it's a referral to, you know, another agency where we can't fill, fill their need, or, or it, it could be anything from, uh, you know, somebody looking, uh, looking at some advice on uh, whether they should get into business or, or whether they, uh, you know, they, they may have an opportunity to purchase a business and they may just be looking for some advice. Or there are others that come in here certainly prepared and would come in with a business plan and ready to talk, uh, you know, about uh, their financing needs. EcoWest Transport uh, is a local uh, business uh, here in the Enoch uh, Cree Nation. And they were looking at uh, specifically uh, um, some assistance in, in, in purchasing some more equipment and uh, through our business development services we provided uh, some assistance to uh, develop a business plan or at least we funded a portion of that cost and that uh, assistance segued into uh, us financing uh, that expansion and uh, they've been a real uh, success story certainly with our corporation. It wasn't uh, uh, so much at the beginning that they had helped us with it was uh, later down the road when we had to advance our company further with uh, newer equipment uh, to help the company grow and expand. 
With their help, we were able to utilize them for getting grants uh, that were available through the federal government uh, so that we could put together a, a loan that would help us go forward with buying these trailers. I wouldn't say it's typical, but uh, you know, they were a good example of beginning uh, you know, from an initial visit right to, to operational and, and uh, being success story. What kind of advice would I give a young guy trying to get into business? I think one of the, the greatest things you can, you can often tell one is um, to have, have confidence in yourself. Really, truly want to be gunning it for, from the start. Be everything you can from the beginning and for sure have a passion in what you're doing because it, at the end of the day, it's gonna help you succeed. Without that passion, you might sometimes not understand why you're even bothering with it. Uh, with the passion, you always know from the beginning, this is why I wanted to do it and this is why I'm still here. And I can still feel I wanna do that. So it'll help them to go forward, to really go through their challenges, to get to where they wanna get. Success is, is it's a big journey and it's a lot of fun. It's not just your destination. Well, I would tell them to, you know, to dream and dream big. And, uh, you know, if there's things that we can help you with, you know, to, to um, you know, to reach those dreams, then, uh, you know, that's what, that's what we're here for. From kind of the corporate uh, vision or mission, I think, you know, if I can speak on behalf of not only the people that I work with here, but, you know, our, our board of directors is that uh, it's, it's a definite need within the community and, and uh, we believe we're, uh, as a corporation filling a gap uh, you know, of that need and are bringing something of real value to the community, something tangible that is going to help uh, Alberta First Nations uh, you know, to be uh, self-sustaining and uh, you know, have uh, a hope of independence. The Alberta Indian Investment Corporation uh, is an important established institution within First Nations um, reserves. They can be a real leader and a role player in in the Aboriginal communities as, as, as far as starting a business, continuing a business, or getting uh, any kind of resources you need to, uh, to, to actually do any of those things. And I think that they're a fantastic organization for that reason. We need more of them. Uh, I think it's great, a great model of uh, 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 business leadership that we need in these communities for sure.